Hey everyone, welcome back to Talking Green America. Today we've just got to talk about the Green New Deal. The Green New Deal is just a proposal to fix everything. Everything associated with environmentalism. Everything from CO2 to cleaning up plastics to job security. Many people think the price tag of this thing is going to be gigantic, that it could be like $93 trillion or something. Okay, yeah, that would be too much. That would be way, way too much. Well, you know, somehow Europe's already going the right way. Nice. Well done, Europe. Um, anyone else notice that for the past couple of years, the United States is actually going the wrong way? Uh, yeah, so we need the Green New Deal, right? Well, hang on. Newsflash. The American Green New Deal is not, and let me repeat this for clarity, it's not about climate change. Aha! What'd you say? Huddle up here. We so gotta talk. Here's a chart of the Green New Deal, and let's break it down. Only about a third of the Green New Deal is about climate change. Like, two-thirds of this thing is about other stuff. All right, even better, in dollar terms, for budget purposes, only about a tenth of the cost is actually for climate change, the, you know, the stuff that's important. Well, that means we can laser focus on the urgent problems, right? That means saving the planet is somewhat, totally, incompletely a lot more possible than you might have thought. Maybe this isn't so bad, right? Well, and I have even much better news for you, too. All the fear-mongering, all the harsh debate about this cost, it's baloney. It's, it's crap. Here's the big reveal for this video. Here's the big news flash. Did you know that talking about these issues is the whole purpose of the Green New Deal? That's it. That's all it is. And that is so right. The Green New Deal is not legislation. Folks, the Green New Deal is not even proposed legislation. The Green New Deal is simply a resolution in Congress to start talking about these issues. That's it. That's the whole Green New Deal. There's no budget at all attached to this, people. So let's get woke up and start having meaningful discussions. That's the point. Truly, the Green New Deal is completely free. It's just a wish list for us to figure out. So we can't be afraid to start talking about what to do. We're going to have to act sooner rather than later anyway. And the CO2 repair part of the Green New Deal is just simply necessary. Look, not taking action is just going to be a disaster, okay? But here's the practical point to make it clear that we can win this fight. All we really have to do, remember, is replace power source A with power source B. Making power makes profits, which means we can totally fix global warming without breaking the bank. All done. Well, what's the big problem? Well, America is deeply divided politically. That's the problem. I get that. There are a few far, far, far right-wingers who still even claim that climate change is a lie. And holy cow, Trump actually did tweet that climate change is a Chinese hoax. Uh, uh, ow. I mean, my head hurts with that. It's just crazy. There are still people even parroting the oil industry claim that man-made carbon dioxide isn't even a problem. Look, we're not going to convince those people. Those folks, they're a danger to the planet. Let's face it, let's move past those fools. We can't, you can't talk to them, okay? And that's why some Democrats started the Green New Deal. Let's fix things. Let's talk about it, right? Great idea. But then we've got all these talking points, an argument. It makes it look like we need some sort of real big debate. Well, no, we don't. People have got to get this straight. There is no debate among scientists. Not anymore. To make that plain, the science is done. Greta Thunberg's award-winning school strike campaign all over the world is based on the science. Hey! The planet's on f***ing fire! So, climate change. This part of the Green New Deal about CO2. Crucial, right? we got to save the planet. We're literally on fire. Okay, but what else is in the Green New Deal? A, a ton of good intentions are piled in there, you bet. Here's one. How do we handle job loss when we close down the fossil fuel industry? How do we stay employed while we change over? All right. Worthy topic. We got to work through this kind of stuff because social benefit programs or, you know, big changes have the power to bankrupt the country if we're not careful. Uh, the total Green New Deal estimate was like $90 trillion or something, right? Well, this channel is dedicated to answering those questions. We're going to talk it through. We're going to figure it out. And remember, we don't have to pay for any of this stuff. It's just a discussion. And we want your questions, okay? We're, we're going to answer them. And here's a sample idea to get you thinking. What do you do with oil field workers who are out of a job? Well, 
put them to work drilling for geothermal power. It's the same technology. People, go over there and dig a different hole. All right, yeah, that's oversimplified, I know. But I hope you get the point. There's an answer for every question. Did you know that there's enough geothermal power to take care of the whole planet? Just out of the western USA, we could power the entire Earth. How do we super accelerate changing over to electric cars? Oh, okay. How about if we make it possible some ways to sell a ton of electric cars really quickly? American-made ones, too. How about if we solve our own job market? Hmm, entirely possible. Got to have a video about that. We've got a plan. All right, well, how do we pay to remove CO2 from the atmosphere with scrubbing machines? Uh, okay, how do we pay to retrain people for new jobs? How about getting oil investors to buy something better for the planet? Right, four more videos right there. Okay, all right, I'm on it. But now we're getting someplace. More conversations, let's get more people on board, let's really talk about this stuff and get some motion happening. That's how we make things happen. Let's please remember that the Green New Deal itself is only a rallying cry for us to have these discussions. That's what it is. Perfect. Okay, let's have the guts to do just that. Let's talk through these things and figure them out. And on that note, we need a lot more people taking part, right? Yes, the problem is big, but with lots of people, that we can handle it. We can take it one part at a time. We figure out answers, and then we'll take action. That's what's going to happen in Congress over time. But action's already happening, okay? America is not sitting idle on this issue. Huge crowds are doing things. People are taking individual action at home. Environmental groups are, you know, doing group stuff. Look, getting involved is easy. It's cheap. It doesn't have to cost a thing. And it can be very effective. Your vote matters. Remember, your vote matters. Don't let anybody stop you from being active on this issue. Okay, well, what should you do? Sign up someplace with an environmental group. Sign up on our website. Check it out. Sign up and become a sponsor for that matter. I hope this little video gets you thinking. Send us your questions down below at the link. We're definitely going to answer things and talk it through. We're going to do a lot of podcasting. Mash that subscribe button for me, people. And hit the alert button so you know when to come back. Share the word big time. Okay, so we're going to see you next time, right? Everyone, come back and bring your friends. And thanks again for watching.